Hey, this is Renee. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And I was thinking about new content for the channel. And I thought it would be a great idea to just test different well-known strategies and test or write the code for the strategies and then use the MetaTrader strategy tester to test them for multiple years. In this case, I will be testing the well-known and really famous moving average strategy. This one is an absolute classic and I will start it in January 2020 and test to the current point. So this is over three and a half years. Let me explain the strategy real quick. It's a really easy strategy and we can say it, uh, we can see it here. So um, we have two moving averages. The fast one is a 20 period moving average. The slow one is a 40 period moving average. So whenever the fast moving average drops below the slow moving average, we will um, open a sell position and if the fast moving average rises above the slow moving average, we will open a buy position like we just saw here. Please do not mind the third line. This is a filter that we will use in the next test. But in this test, we just have this sell position and the buy position and they are always exchanged. So once a uh, sell signal is there, we will open uh, we will close any open buy position and when there's a buy signal we will close any open sell position and always trade the direction of these these moving averages so you can see if i fast forward everything some of these trades are winning trades some of these trades are losing trades and if we have a look at the graph we will see that there are periods where this strategy is doing fine. Even though it's a really simple strategy, the idea behind it should be very clear. This is a classic trend following strategy because moving average strat strategies like this one, they work best in trendy markets. And yeah, so you can see um, there are great periods. Also, we will see, and I did, did this test before the video already, we will see negative periods like this one. And this is probably because there are always market conditions for any strategy that make or that generate some kind of drawdown. And the question is, how big is this drawdown and can the strategy recover from this drawdown? Okay, so there it is. The first run of this strategy gave the following result here. We have a positive profit factor, which is great for a simple strategy like this. And we created a total net profit of 450 um, euro in the tested period of the last three and a half years. This, of course, like the absolute um, profit depends on the account size and everything. We all know this. So now let's have a look at the settings. And as I said before that we have the option to use a moving average filter. So if I activate this moving average filter and if I do the same test again, we will see if this improves or decreases the performance. So what we can see here is you can now see the moving average 100 line is now also important because we will only enter buy positions if the price is above the moving average filter and we will only open sell positions if the price is below the moving average filter. The rest is completely the same. If there is a position, it will be closed once the moving averages gen generate a counter signal. So if I speed this up again, we will see a lot of trades. Again, as always, some of them are winning trades, some of them are losing trades. And we will have to compare this to the previous result. Okay, so now this test is also finished. If we have a look at the back testing result, uh, we can see the profit factor is actually a little bit higher, I think, but the total net profit is not better than it was in the last test. So you can see moving average filters like this, even though it might seem uh, like a good idea, it does not always have to increase the performance of the EA or the strategy. So we still have some more input parameters here. For example, we have the option to use a stop loss and a TP. So what I did is I started a quick optimization run using the optimization feature here of the MetaTrader 5 tester. And what I specifically wanted to optimize is the stop loss and the take profit and also the moving average filter. So these are the three points that I wanted to optimize and here are the results. I did this before and you can see in this quick overview that most of the tests were actually not really great, not really profitable, but we have some tests that were 
Yeah, quite all right. So for example, we have this one here. This is the best outcome that I was able to generate with my, um, to be honest, not really big optimization run, but we can see that a uh, the usage of the moving average filter was beneficial in this case and a stop loss points input of 1000 and a TP points input of 250 was the best possible combination of the inputs for the last three and a half years in the one hour euro US dollar chart out of the different combinations for the inputs that I tested here. So let me quickly adjust the inputs here. So let's say we go to a single visualized backtest again and we change the inputs to 1000 for the stop loss points and 250 for the TP points and then we make sure to use the moving average filter. So if I test, the, uh, if I start this test, we will now see that whenever there is a trade opened um, and yeah, you can see it here, it has a really small or uh, yeah, really uh, narrow TP and there is a um, stop loss that is quite far away. And this seemed to be very uh, profitable or very beneficial in the optimization run. Also, we only trade into the direction of this um, moving average filter. That's why we did not take this buy trade. We did not take this sell trade here. And I don't know why we didn't take this buy trade. This was probably because the market was closed. Let me check the journal for possible error messages. Maybe there was a trade. Oh, there was a trade. It was just not updated yet. But yeah, you can see the uh, moving average filter is working. And if we have a look at the result graph for this one, we will see, I mean, of course, this looks kind of beautiful, but this is optimized. So always be um, careful with these uh, these optimization runs, um, a optimization if you take, if you just take the best result, it will look great in most cases. But of course, this is not uh, guaranteed to be like this for the next years. Uh, most likely, it will be different. It will be worse because it's only optimized for a specific period in the past. So yeah, this is my quick breakdown of the moving average strategy or the really classic moving, uh, moving average strategy. Here you can see this has a great profit factor. 1.17 is good for a simple strategy like this and generates quite a nice profit. So yeah, you can see different strategies. Um, or a strategy can always be modified a little bit by changing the inputs and some of these input changes will make the strategy better, some will make it worse. But it's really important, I think, to just test different um, combinations for the inputs to have a good and, yeah, a really good understanding for the strategy. And if you know that it performs like this, you know that there are ups and downs, it will give you more confidence if you use this strategy in a live training account. So now let me know in the comment section below if you like this format for the YouTube channel where I just take uh, well-known strategies or I mean I can also take some more complex strategies in the future and just test them over multiple years to figure out which strategies might be good, which might be bad and um, having a quick overview over a strategy always helps to figure out if you want to dig deeper and if you maybe want to add more filter, want, want to uh, modify the strategy, or if you do not want to research in this um, strategy anymore at all. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what kind of strategies you want to see tested for the last, um, yeah, let's say three and a half to five years. I could test uh, different indicators like the Bollinger Bands, the Donkey and Channel Indicator, Parabolic SAR. There are so many indicators and I could write quick programs for them to just test the outcome of the strategy. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your um, opinion on this. And yeah, in the end, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great time and good trades until we see each other next time. Have a good time. Bye-bye.